the Unagi Model 1. Hello everyone, welcome to Brian Unbox. In this video, we're gonna look at the Unagi Model 1 electric scooter. This is how the scooter comes in and you can see it's packaged well. It only requires very minimal assembly. And inside you will see that it comes with a box that has the bolts, user guide, allen wrench, handlebar, and charger. And here it is fully assembled. You just have to attach the wire underneath the handlebar to the other end of the stem and then tighten the four bolts, two in the front and two in the back. Just to go over some specs, the Model 1 comes in two models, a single motor which is the E350 and the dual motor which I have is the E500. There are also various colors to choose from. The E500 weighs in at 28.5 pounds, aluminum chassis, carbon fiber stem and magnesium handlebars, 7.5 inch solid tires, dual 250 watt motors with 26 newton meters of torque, an 800 watt peak, 7200 milliamp hour lithium ion battery, and it takes 4 to 5 hours to fully charge, LED front lights and tail lights, electronic brake and a friction brake, three riding modes, 15 and a half mile range, and a top speed of 20 miles per hour. Taking a look at the front, you have the front LED light on the top. On the bottom, you have the front fender, the hinge to unfold and fold, and the front motor. Towards the middle, you have the kickstand, rear fender and friction brake, motor, and rear light. The handlebar area, you'll find the horn, brake, display, driving mode button, and throttle. The button above the brake is the horn, and this is how it sounds like. The right side button will allow you to toggle the trip and odometer and switch the drive modes from Eco, Standard, and Pro, which is labeled 1, 2, and 3. To power up the dashboard, it's just one press of the button. A quick double tap you will see a picture of a gear and that will put it in dual motor mode. And a single press will turn on the front light. There is also a rear tail light and it will flash when brakes are applied. Now the, the uh, stem does fold down, it's, it's very simple. You can see here um, on the uh, levers here, you just have to push down. And then once you hear the click, it locks into place. And then, you know, very light. You can see and, you know, uh, just throw in the back of your car, take it inside or wherever you need to go. Bringing the stem back up, just push down the lever to unlock. And then, uh, Bring it up and wait for the click. Now it's time to take it out for a ride. I'll test out the acceleration, brakes, uphill, downhill, and then give my thoughts. All right, now I'm gonna go through the different modes, mode one, mode two, and mode three, and see how fast it goes. Uh, this has a top speed of 20 miles per hour. So I'll start off with mode one. Okay, mode one, about nine, nine miles per hour on mode one. Now switching to mode two, hitting about 12 miles per hour on mode two, and then mode three. Definitely picking up some speed here. 17, 17, 18. Again, this uh, street has some inclines, so um, it may limit the speed here. But we're holding at about 18 miles per hour on mode three. 
Okay, I'm at a uh, mode three right now, and we're doing 20 miles per hour, going back down the street. Now I'll test out the brakes. I'll take it to max speed, and once I come into view, I'll hit the brakes, and you can use the parking lines as reference. Okay, now I'm gonna do a uphill test and then a downhill. I'm gonna have it at mode three with a dual motor. Uh, the street has a nice incline, so let's see how it does. Okay, we're at uh, 10 miles per hour. Again, this is a pretty steep incline and it's holding at about 12 miles per hour. Mode three with dual motor. All right, it made it up that hill. Uh, we made it up that hill about 12 to 13 miles per hour and held steady. Now we're gonna go down and see how it does. Again, uh, dual motor and we'll have it at mode three. All right, we're about 18, 19, 20, 20 miles per hour. And hitting the brakes. Here are my thoughts on the scooter. It required very minimal assembly and I was up and running in no time. The build and quality is excellent. Very sleek and minimalistic design. And did I not mention how light it is at 28 and a half pounds? The finish all around just feels like quality. This has been compared to as the iPhone of scooters, and I can see why. Even the attention to details in the packaging for the parts and accessories. The deck is fairly wide and the length is decent, and there's good grip on the surface. Although I feel the stem is a bit short and could be a little bit taller. There is a little bit of play with the stem towards the locking mechanism, and I do wish it was a tighter fit or the locking mechanism is different. Folding and unfolding is quick and easy with the hinge. The display is simple and easy to navigate, very intuitive. Front and rear lights are bright and it's a nice addition to the scooter. Now when it comes to power and speed, I would definitely recommend the dual motor version as it can handle the inclines. Single motor would have a bit of difficulty with the higher inclines and may not maintain the speed. During my testing, I was able to hit the 20 miles per hour top speed and this is also rated for 15 and a half miles in range. As far as the ride, it can be a bit bumpy when the surfaces become uneven or rough. It has no suspensions to absorb the bumps and the solid tires don't play well with them either. So it's best to just keep it on smooth surfaces. At the current price point, there is good value with this Model 1 dual motor. If you're looking for a minimalistic design with decent range for commute or just pleasure, this would not be a bad option in my opinion. So that is my review of the Unagi Model 1 electric scooter. If you like my video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button as well. Until next time, this is Brian Unbox. Take care, everyone.